Hi guys, I'm Dr. Vijit and welcome to Slim by Eat Right Season 2. And as you guys know, Season 2 is all about festive food. Guess who we have? Our very own Dr. Geeta Dharmati. Hi, Mama. Hi. How are you? I'm good. And what's cooking today? Today is something baked. Something so baked. I thought always bakes are cakes and pastries. So Actually. I have to go for some kind of a healthy with very less oil. Okay. And it's called as methi. It's Maybe a Gujarati dish. It's a Gujarati, it's a yes. Gujarati dish and that's going to be baked. Yes. Oh my god. You can't Gujarati. imagine a Gujarati dish being baked. Yes, I You've seen the definition of Muthiyas <laughs> My Gujarati friends will be very happy yes, actually. Yes, very okay. much. <laughs> so how do we start? So we have many ingredients here. Let's mm -hmm. go step wise. I'll okay. explain you what the ingredients are first, mm -hmm. right? As the name of the ingredient of the dish is methi muthiyas. So first we have the methi. chopped washed methis. Methis are very rich in calcium, iron and they are very good diabetic food also because methis are very medic have good medicinal value. So we have methis almost you can see the quantity, one full bunch of methi, we've taken it. We have binders like one is basin flour mm -hmm. and one is gemuka atta. Okay. If you can see both we have taken the same quantity, quantity. one third, one third and methi. So methi, gehu and your basin is taken in similar quantities. So okay. once your base is this, the other ingredients are for flavors and taste. So we have garam masala, which can add in half teaspoon. We have jeera powder, one teaspoon we are adding. We have dhania powder, which is also one teaspoon. We have mirchi paste, we are not adding red chili powder again. Okay. So mirchi paste here, which is almost one teaspoon we are adding. This is ginger, there is no garlic here, so it's only ginger. So ginger garlic goes together, so okay. that is why I specifically said it is more of ginger, ginger. right? Gujaratis have more of tikha and sweet, sweet flavor kind of yeah, exactly so we are going to be adding one teaspoon of sugar also with it, Fine which sugar. is for the taste factor. <laughs> I know that you won't admit, but then some uh, things you have to do for the taste. Yeah. And for a, such a big dish, one teaspoon sugar should not make I'm, a difference. I'm happy, happy, in fact I'm happy with good, sugar. Good. So all for taste, little coriander to garnish in this and when we need it. So, okay. should we start making it? Surely, surely Great. Yeah. So, let's take a bigger bowl. Let me put each ingredient as I discussed. First the methi one. See, look at the fresh color it has. Doesn't it look so beautiful? I always looks enjoy really looking exactly. colors of the food. Yeah. Because that also makes you feel nice. Next I am putting is the basin. basin. Yeah. And now, we have keuka atta which can bind it. We don't put maida at all because we look at a healthy whole grain feel of it, right? We have dhania powder first going in which is one teaspoon as I've already said. So it's one teaspoon of dhania powder. We have jeera powder also here which I've already mentioned. One teaspoon of it. Half teaspoon of garam masala. You know, Abhijit, I'm not very spicy eater. Mm. So I'm very careful about putting spices Spice. in masalas but I enjoy having five fresh grounded spices like mirchi, adrak, exactly. all these have their own medicinal values and Indian cooking, we should encourage this fresh grounded masalas Actually. rather than going for garam masalas. And garam masalas also if you can think of putting fresh one rather than putting a powdered one, that also gives a better nutrition to it. I am also adding one teaspoon of sugar to it. Sugar. Right? And finally, salt to taste. Yep. See, I have not added any fat. Can you make it out? You have not yes. been thinking about it. This is healthy also. You know, turmeric has got many medicinal values also. It is an anti inflammatory, antiseptic. So, exactly. turmeric, so all these ingredients which we are putting in our methi muthiyas have lots of good medicinal Medicine and value. health yeah. benefits too. Actually. So now what I'm going to do is first mix this, right? Okay. And then if you can help me put yeah, the surely. water so I can knead this into a dough like what we do it for parathas. I'll put it right now. Uh, just a sec, I'll just... Uh, She's playing garba with the, in the bowl. Yeah, so, yeah, so Gujarati dish, so you're thinking only garba and bandhiyas today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you can start putting little water in this. In this yeah. Much. No, no, keep uh, pouring it till I say no to you. You know, needing jobs, ladies are perfect. Actually, you would not like to do this kind of a job. I understand. Yeah. 
It's not about liking. I will never be able to do it actually. <laughs> no, no, no. All best chefs in the world are men, you know. Uh, so don't underestimate them. You can also try it out. Yeah, sure. So when you have a concept of healthy bait, little more water. So what do you mean by healthy bait? I felt was when we add, when we add no fat, especially baked food with lots of butter, yes. ghee, and creams have lots of trans fatty generation in them, mm -hmm. and that is very very dangerous for our health. Especially it has cancer cell generation, and you have more of inflammation that is heart diseases, diabetes and all that. So when I say healthy bake, it means no fat. Practically no fat. You can see now we have not added any Actually, fat in nothing that has fat. And what we are going to do is little vegetable oil I have added. There is no animal fat here. Okay. So there is no butter, ghee, cream, nothing. So I have almost let this dough. I think we will keep the water. We don't need it now. So you can see the consistency. It is like more of Chapati ka atta, we have yes. made it. I'll add little oil so that I grease my hand properly. Because we've added turmeric to it, that mm -hmm. yellow and green color oh, is there, also making yeah. very good. Yeah, I suppose food is all about how it looks first, exactly. you know. You, you perceive or you taste food with your eyes first, you know. Very true. That's what attracts you. I've been repeatedly telling in my the uh, recipe is that colors is something which attracts yes. and the color should be all fresh fresh that is what we are looking at so now i am done with kneading the bowl what we'll do now is take a baking tray because we are looking at baking yes. right grease it with a little oil okay. right did you see the time when we started and when we finished yeah, it was, uh, I didn't see the time, but it's you a very, fast. Yeah, it is a very easy dish. We Actually. just knead it. Now I'm making a round balls of it, making into bujia type. Right? This is how it is, like a cutlet. Cutlet. And put it for bake. We've already stuck, kept the oven for preheating. Okay, right? yes. We have kept it for 15 minutes. For 15 minutes. Or 250 degrees centigrade. 250. Right? For 15 minutes, we've already kept it. What I'm going to do is make small small muthias, keep it in the baking tray okay. and then put it in the oven. Yeah, because the general uh, concern of people is baked food is healthy, you know? Yes. That's what happens, ki everybody uh, out there, you know, Correct. says, okay, uh, I, I'm having baked food, this is healthy. Yes. That's a misconception, yes. I guess. Yes, in fact, I say baked, any baked food and fried food have equal values. Okay. We pick up baked when we see fried, we thought baked is better, but you know, baked has lots of trans fats. Actually. And we should be very careful when we pick up baked foods. I also give you a, a nutrition significance out of it. So, uh, anything which is written baked or oats or healthy should not be really grabbed. It, it should be first checked what contents it has and then we should take for it. Actually. Because animal fat, again I repeat, since we have time in making muthias, animal fat, when we really bake it, they become into trans fat and you can see trans fat are highly cancerous also at the same time. Yes, it's actually. And now that we have so many incidents of health, lifestyle and all coming up and I think your slim bite recipe talks more about healthy eating. Healthy eating, eating yes. And we should concentrate and highlight all these aspects exactly. when we are making healthy our eating. Recipes. And healthy eating which is uh, delicious as well. Correct. No? Which and is I not appreciate boring. your concept Abhijit, of taking dietitians into this picture because uh, I understand dietitians are not very great cooks. Yeah, but uh, but then when you come to recipes and ingredients, exactly. we try to pick up the best of ingredients which are good. Exactly, for you caught me. You caught me. You caught the concept right. You know, Correct. because you're the right people. You know, Correct. can tell us what to eat actually. Because I suppose every uh, is there on the net. But you need somebody to tell you, true. okay, this is how you're supposed to eat, this is how much you're supposed to eat. True. That is where the digestion comes in, no? Very true. So yes, we've made enough muthias. Yes. And it's all set to bake now. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 muthias. 10 muthias. So I think the whole crew, crew can actually today eat with this. <laughs> so you can see the size of the muthias, the bigger size. And now I've already preheated the oven. I'm going to keep it in the preheated oven. And we just have to bake it for 8 minutes. Okay. And once we bake it for 8 to 10 minutes, I'll show it how it looks. So done? Yeah. So I'm opening the preheated oven. 
it in the baking tray and again setting it for 10 minutes. So we need to wait for 10 minutes to get a taste of the healthy muthias. Yes. And we've already finished the baked muthias mm. and you can see the baked muthias all done. So look at the beautiful wow. meaty muthias which are all done. It took total 15 minutes, minutes to make the to recipe. Make the recipe. Good. I want you to taste it now because this is a healthy bake. You've seen I've used only one teaspoon of oil with yeah. all best of healthy natural ingredients which we have. So it will be interesting to understand how yes. it is really tasted. So methi muthia. Methi muthia. Methi muthia. Yes. By Dr. Geeta Dharmati. Not by Dr. Geeta Dharmati. Huh? Actually in action by Dr. Geeta Dharmati. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me check. Well, they are nice brown, yellow, smelling good. You can actually eat this with green chutney, imli chutney, make it more interesting. They are also used in undios where you can have small, small, they generally fried, but I would always prefer baked. to give you a baked uh, dish. Hey guys, is it baked properly? Because mm. we usually eat when it's too baked. Great? That's lovely. We've not Delicious. added soda, we've not added anything to get it baked so I hope and with the sugar that you added you have that flavor actually you know great mm. so it was just half a teaspoon it really made a difference beautiful beautiful yes. very delicious thank what you what do I call this methylicious methylicious is a lovely <laughs> word Abhijit you started catching up all the beautiful rejectors for food uh, I yeah, actually, actually thank you so much it's very beautiful guys you should go home and try this and play garba <laughs> okay. So it will calorie burning and intake matching together. <laughs> Thanks yes. on the show. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank yeah. you very much. Bye. Bye bye.